I'm at the University of South Carolina in downtown Columbia, and I'm speaking with Mike Gibson. Mike, um, you are a interesting um, artist. You are a property artist. That's correct. So tell me what in the world a property artist is. Well, you have all kind of artists, right? And I knew growing up I was going to be an artist. I just didn't know what. So eventually when I started getting more into topiary and then beautifying properties, I figured I need to coin this name that no one else has. Uh, so I became a property artist. I beautify properties artistically with topiary. Now, of course, in South Carolina, we're all familiar with Pearl Fryer's work, which is a particular style that he developed, but it's just like sculpture. I mean, we've got modern sculpture, we've got traditional sculpture, we've got, you know, postmodern, postmodernism, and you have your own style. I was already doing property art before I heard of Pearl Fryer, but once I heard of Pearl, it kind of enhanced my, my uh, skill set a little bit more and just started thinking outside the box. I saw what was possible. I was just saying, you know, he showed there's a freedom uh, with topiary. You can do whatever you want, you know, and I fell in love with that idea. So my style takes a little bit of, of Pearl style. Uh, there's a gentleman that uh, I use all his tools, Milwaukee tools. His name is Jake Hobson. I read a book of, on, uh, that he wrote and uh, called Creative Pruning. And he showed all these different styles all over the world. And that opened my mind even even wider. All and over the world? All over the world. I mean, there's there's topiary in Australia and Thailand, all in England and, and Russia. Oh my goodness, there's some beautiful sculptures in Russia. And I never was exposed to this. You know, growing up in Youngstown, Ohio, I'd never seen topiary like this. You know, so I, I, it opened up my mind and I started developing my own style. So my style is more like a, um, I would say it's like a pearl style. It's like sculpting. I feel like it's, it's like Michelangelo sculpting stone, you know, but I do like this, what I call a, a illusion. It's a topiary illusion. Oh. It's illusion art. So I may have this vision in my head, what it should be and what I want it to be, but you may see something from a different perspective and see something totally different. And that's the beauty of it. What you enjoy doing, I think, is not just one or two things you like to say, you wouldn't have your living room five different styles. Let's let your yard be a style. Yes, yes. So how I approach, say, a new client, I would talk to you. I would learn more about you. I learn about the environment, see what's around uh, that area, and then incorporate that and work on the entire canvas. I don't want to just do one tree because that that's minimizing my skill set. You know, I can do everything. I can do your entire property and I want to trim the smallest shrubs to the tallest shrub and incorporate that all into one unique piece that we have. Um, I think it's very fortunate that now you have um, a new um, title and responsibility, which is? Yes, I'm currently the artist in residence at the Ernest A. Finney Jr. Cultural Arts Center that's soon to open here uh, in downtown Columbia. Uh, we're currently renovating the building right now, but we are actively doing some workshops to help teach the community some um, not so normal trades, like say topiary. <laughs> but um, Chief Justice Finney, mm -hmm. um, one of the things he was known for and that made him so successful was being able to bring diverse people together and mm -hmm. have them try to come to an understanding or an appreciation. And I think what y'all are going to do, if I'm not mistaken, is you'll have some presentations and some, you know, you'll work towards a goal. But right. I think just the creative, creating art together helps people reach an understanding with each other. I, I, I do believe that it, it helps bring uh, People from all sorts of cultures and demographics all come together. You know, when you look at art, you're not looking at, oh, the black guy did that one. You're not concerned about that. You're looking at the beauty of it. You're looking at how it, it touches your soul. And I think art is something that that breaks that divide and brings everybody together. And that's something that, you know, uh, Chief Justice Finney was always known for with helping to bring and, and bridge that gap and bringing cultures together. And that's something that we do want to do uh, and that we're going to do at the Cultural Arts Center. And of course, Justice Finney's daughter is here on the faculty. And so I'm sure that she's going to be um, help coming up with wonderful creative ideas as well. Right. And I want, when things get started, um, maybe you'd let me come. And I'm not much of an artist, but I would like to let my inner soul come out and, um, and interact with some other people. And I think that would be awesome. And so, get to know you a little better as well. Right. And I think the, the main concept of is just what you said. You know, you have this skill set. 
right? You have this knowledge base and you want to be able to share it with others. And that's exactly what we want to do. Imagine everybody doing master classes and we're finding masters within the community. Anybody that is within these, these arts can come and teach their expertise and pass it along to this next generation, you know, so that it isn't forgotten. Because if, if, if I never heard of Pearl, would I still be doing Topiary? I don't know. I know I, I may have stopped and decided, you know, I'm just going to be a landscaper and I'm just going to focus on this. Oh, I'm so glad you, you know, heard of it. <laughs> but once I heard of Pearl, that's I found my passion. I want to thank you so much for coming and sharing this information and for um, sharing your talents with um, some people in a place where um, they need to get out more in the winter. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me here. And I'll be more welcome to come back and tell some more about Topiary. That'll be fun. Yes, maybe next time I'll trim a tree for you. That'd be fun too. <laughs>